This is Matt Shockley, proud principal at Avon High School, back with you once again uh, to give you an update in regards to the Making Room for More project at Avon High School. And I trust that you have been able to have time to break away from that school routine and really relax and have some fun uh, over the summer break. You know, one of the most common questions that I get from students uh, that I see around the community during the summer is that, Mr. Shockley, what do you do during the summer? We are usually very busy. Um, we're hiring staff and making lots of plans for the coming school year and putting on the finishing touches for that. This summer has been another level of busy. Literally, as soon as students left the building for the summer, we had construction workers at our doorsteps. Right now, you're joining me in the new door one as we reorient ourselves to new door entrances throughout the entire exterior uh, of the building. So when you come in door one, you'll be able to easily access our main administrative offices as well as student services and our school counseling offices. Uh, also behind me uh, is a main staircase that will quickly get you to our second floor hallways, uh, as well as a main corridor that's behind me that will connect the new front entrance to a hallway that will take you all the way to our library in the library staircase. Our door one entrance is also going to be one of our pickup and drop off locations, either before or at the end of the school day. We will be providing more information to our families in the days leading up to school. Safety and security is still a very important uh, piece to the construction that's happened at, at the high school. Door one uh, is one of our secured entry vestibules and students will simply come in and come in through the office area uh, to access the rest of the building and that would be the same for parents coming for meetings or community members coming uh, to some sort of uh, uh, meeting that may be happening at the building. But this is uh, one of the main administrative offices. You're joining me now in the new orchestra space. And this is not fully completed yet. We're going to be delayed, unfortunately, in regards to opening this space. We had a transformer uh, that has been delayed in shipment, and uh, we're not able to get full power. Hopefully by uh, mid-August or by Labor Day, this space will be available. But we are certainly excited to be able to have a, a new new space dedicated for that growing program. Just really excited when our students and our staff can really enjoy it fully. I am now standing in what we used to call, used to call the C hallway, the main hallway that connected the old main entrance to the building to the lunch, commons, cafeteria, and auditorium area. This hallway is now known as the E hall, E hall. Students and staff, we're gonna have to get used to that due to the construction and additional space. Hallway names have changed as well as doorway entrances have changed. So just make a mental note of that. Students, I know it's gonna be confusing, but just know I'm learning the new door entrances and the hallways as well. So we're gonna be all in this together. You can see behind me, we've got some temporary walls that are being built to create a larger hallway and increase traffic flow in our main hall. It's gonna be a little tighter in some spaces in our main hallway until that is done. Also behind me, our old door one entrance has been completely removed. That has been opened up now. Construction steel will be coming in, a concrete pad laid, because we're gonna be adding additional classrooms and a couple of large group instruction spaces uh, to accommodate the needs uh, within the building. That will be completed uh, really a year from now at the beginning of the 25-26 school year as well as on the northwest side of the building there will be additional classrooms added there uh, that will be open for the 25 26 school year. One of the uh, great examples of the Making Room for More project is increasing um, the width of some of our hallways to uh, accommodate our growing student enrollment. When I came here 12 years ago, we were about 800 students fewer. And this building was built 20 to 25 years ago. So this hallway behind me, you can see when it is finished, the extra width that we are gaining to a, help enhance that traffic flow in the main hallway. And also just a reminder to our community members and families 
families, no referendum dollars, and no increase to your taxes to help make room for more at Avon High School. Probably one of the most dramatic changes that you're gonna see coming back into the building is our commons and cafeteria space. A lot of the walls and the windows uh, and doorways into the main cafeteria have been demolished and it has really created an open free flowing space in our cafeteria area. All of our new cafeteria seating will be in, in place so uh, you're going to see some different kinds of seating um, when you come back this school year. Behind me uh, was kind of the stu senior study hall uh, area. You can see how the offices have been cleared out and behind me there's actually a brand new hallway that has been created that connects with the L hallway and and comes out near where the old weight room used to be located. Students, I've got a very important announcement and exciting news that I think many of you have been waiting for and have been asking me about all last school year. Bosco sticks are back. So look forward to that this school year. Over the past three years, uh, it has just been a thrill uh, to watch this project unfold. I've been able to be a part of it in just conversation stages, move to concepts on a piece of paper and then to actual drawings, and now to see it really come into reality, uh, it is a thrill. Maybe you've had the experience of having something new or getting something new. Maybe it's uh, a new car, maybe it's uh, for families, it's getting a new home, uh, maybe it's getting a new electronic device, or maybe it's just a freshly painted uh, bedroom or room in a house. I know when I have enjoyed those types of things, and I'm gonna guess that the experience is the same for you, there is a bit of anticipation to get it done, and then when it is done and to experience it, there is just a, a lot of excitement and joy and pride around, around that. So to our students and families this school year, um, I hope that you are really looking forward to this school year. Maybe not, uh, not only because of the new spaces that you're gonna be able to be a part of and to enjoy and kind of relish in uh, with our staff, uh, but also for a fresh new start to the school year. There's still a lot of construction that's yet to be completed this school year, and it's really gonna require all of us to be patient, um, have flexibility, uh, and be really cooperative uh, as we go through these coming months together because uh, a lot of the work is happening inside the building and it's gonna impact us more than it has in the past. But the one thing that I, I want to encourage you to do is to have that mindset of our we are Avon, we are one mentality. Because if we can do that together, uh, we're gonna make that, this school year a great one and to go very, very smoothly. I'm confident of that because you know what, Orals? We are made and built different. And with that philosophy, we are Avon, we are one, we're gonna make the best of the circumstances, no matter maybe how challenging they may be at times. So students, families, and to our staff out there, I am really looking forward to welcome you back to a new school year at Avon High School, and I'm wanting this to be the best year yet. Thank you and have a great day.